Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum. Welcome back to Ali Raja Baganbari UK. I am your host Akib Allah. I am Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. We are in the month of October and it's the fall season. The weather is gloomy, windy and um, it's time to harvest all our chilies from our chili garden. And we'll be harvesting all our Bangladeshi vegetables today. It's the 3rd of October. Today is going to be our final chili harvest of 2020. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. So don't skip, watch the video till the end because we're going to be having a bumper chili harvest. Without further ado, let's start harvesting chilies. This is Naga chili. It originates from Silet and it's a really hot chili, isn't it dad? It's really spicy. This 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 uh, naga chili is really hot, but it has a special uh, a special beautiful fragrance to it which I like. It, it has a nice yeah. smell to it. Whenever my dad has naga moris with his rice, I always need to smell it. It smells really delicious. Uh, this is our third harvest from this chili plant. Um, We've probably harvested about 300 chili chilies of this plant already. We're going to harvest all the chilies from our, our chili garden today uh, because it's the month of October, as I explained, and we are in the fall season. And we, we're going to be try we'll, we'll try to save a lot of our chilies from for next year's. Now we made a fantastic uh, um, video on how to uh, save your chili plant for for next year, how to overwinter your chili plant. We will leave the link in the description down below or you can click the, uh, click the eye up here to go to that video. It's a must watch video. Guys, it's a really cold day today and it's really windy and it's starting to rain heavily. As you can see by my clothes, I had to put my hoodie on because it's really cold. Come on guys, let's harvest our last garden vegetables of 2020. Okay, there's a bottle gourd there. Do you want to harvest yes, that? Yes, let's harvest that, Dad. Okay, let's put the basket down and harvest this baby. Whoa! I'm just... The wind almost tripped me over. Look at this bottle gourd. Let's put it in our basket. Uh. Now there are a few more there actually. Have a look, uh, but they're not they're not quite they're not that harvest big. yet. Can yeah. you see them? Yeah, I can see them. Okay, let's put it in our basket with our other, other vegetables. I think we have, oh, yeah, there's, there's another there. There's a couple of more there. Should we harvest this one, Dad? Actually, I think we'll harvest all of them. They're going to rot, so okay. all of them gone. And there's one more here. Oh, here. I think. This one's in a weird angle. Okay. Okay, well, I would put the hood on, you're getting wet. Okay, I'm doing it now. Okay, there's a couple more here, but I think they're too small to harvest. Can oh, you see yeah, them? Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh, is there any more? Bang there's um, there's, there's a, couple a couple more here. Another <sighs> one here. Yeah, this is a um, quite big one. Here we go. There's another one over here. Look, let me harvest it. There we go. Dad, this basket's really heavy. Okay, I can put the put all the uh, vegetables on the table here. Oh, sorry. Basket. Yeah, was it was heavy. Yes, it was. Ugh. And our carolers. Okay, baby. put them down. We, we're going to go and uh, uh, harvest the aubergines. Yeah. Oh, look at this chilies we harvested earlier. We we have 80 more chili plants to harvest. We can't do it today because of the rain. Dad, just harvesting these chilies took us like three hours. Yes. Aubergine. Okay, harvest all the aubergines. Oh, this is the long one, isn't it? Yeah, these are the long ones. Snake, snake-like yeah. uh, aubergine. It's a bit like snake gourd, Dad. 
like Cecinda. Let's harvest the round ones now. Yeah, there's um, quite a few of aubergines to harvest. I'm going to harvest all of them. Look at our aubergine, guys. Plenty of aubergine, yeah. yes. Okay. We're going to have lots of buzzy. Shall we, uh, shall we do the tomatoes now? Yeah. Okay, let's put them in the kitchen first. Okay. Dad, what should we do with the green ones? Okay, we'll harvest all the, all the, all the tomatoes because they will rot because the temperature is getting really cold. Yeah, we don't want our tomatoes to rot. So let's harvest all the tomatoes that we have, even the green ones. Okay. Okay, so I have these ones, a few ripe ones on this plant. Yeah. Look what I found. There's a small misty lau over here. There. Oh, guys, this is really heavy. Lots of tomatoes. Yes, lots. But mainly green tomatoes. Yeah, but you know the upside down tomato plant, Dad? It gave us lots of ripe um, tomatoes. Let's just push some cheese aside. <sighs> that was hard. Yeah, that was really tiring, Dad. We were rushing. Uh, it's so windy outside and uh, it's pouring with rain. So we had to um, do what we can. Now, we wasn't able to harvest all our chilies today. We have so many chili plants to harvest. So, we, I think we harvested about 10 chili plants, didn't we? Yeah, we and, have that. Uh, as you can see, we have so many chilies. Now, you must be wondering what we will do with all these chilies. So, Aki, what are we going to do with all these chilies here? Dad, we're going to be making lots of Akib's organic naga achar with these yummy, spicy naga moris. And what else are we going to do? We're going to be collecting some seeds. We're going to be collecting lots of seeds. Now, I know many of you are waiting for, uh, for the Akhir's organic nagacha and the seeds. You just have to bear with us another one week. Uh, we will be making the pickle hopefully this week and we are already collecting the seeds. It needs to dry up before we can dispatch. So hopefully, inshallah, on our next video, we'll announce how and when can you buy our chili, uh, chili seeds and the pickle. So Aki, what makes the what makes the chili hot? You know when we eat a chili and uh, we feel heat or spiciness in our tongue. What makes that uh, effect? What gives that effect? So there's a substance found in these chilies called capsicin. It gives the spiciness to the chili and it gives the chili a peppery flavor to it. Okay, so uh, how do we measure uh, uh, which chilies are hot and which chilies are hotter than others? Because we have so many different varieties of chilies. Naga chili is one of the hottest chilies in the world. But there are other chilies called the Carolina Ripper, which is hotter than the Naga chili. Or the Trinidad uh, Scorpion, which is also a very hot chili. We use a method called SHU. SHU stands for Scoville Heat Unit. Now, Scoville, uh, Scoville um, uh, scale, uh, the, the, the name comes from uh, the guy who invented it. His name was? Wilbur Scoville. Scoville, he, he was an American um, pharmacist back in the uh, early 20th century. Uh, the Nagachili is, uh, the heat of the Nagachili is about 1 million to about 1.5 million. And I think the Carolina Ripper is, is about 2 million, I'm not quite sure. It's around 22 million. But the Carolina Ripper is a crossbreed of Naga chili and other chilies combined together. So it all comes down to this bad boy, which is the Naga chili. So the Carolina Ripper or the um, Trinidad Scorpion are crossbreed of this Naga chili to make that into uh, hotter chilies. In order for you to actually make your chilies hotter, uh, uh, the chilies need a lot of sun and heat and they don't like a lot of water. So if you want really hot spicy chilies, use less water and make sure they're getting at least 8 to 9, 10 hours uh, of sun so that it will make the chili hotter. I really hope you enjoyed watching this uh, harvesting video with us. Um, if you do, please give us a thumbs up. 
like our videos and don't forget to share our videos among your friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. And don't forget to check out my second channel, Akib's Fun TV. I make very interesting vlogs. And please don't forget to subscribe to Akib's Fun TV. It's a, it's a completely different channel to Ali Raja Bagambari UK. So please visit Akib's Fun TV and subscribe to that, please. If you want to see my nephew's eighth birthday, click the eye up here and it will take you straight to that video. Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, assalamu alaikum, and until then, I will see you in the next one.